Thanks to Brilliant for supporting this episode of SciShow. Check out brilliant.org slash scishow to learn more. You think your stomach growls? Listen to this. Those rasps are coming from the stomach of a ghost crab. But this sound doesn't mean I'm hungry. It means back off. And it gets even weirder because the crab is growling with the teeth in its stomach, which are a thing that it has. And it's a window into evolution in action. It's what happens when an old structure gets used for a new purpose. Most crustaceans have a structure called a gastric mill in their stomachs. It acts like a mortar and pestle with teeth that scrape together to grind up food and make it small enough for digestive enzymes to break it down the rest of the way. But in a 2019 study, researchers discovered that the mill could be used for another purpose to make sound. They observed that ghost crabs would make a rasping sound when provoked. They also knew that ghost crabs can produce a warning sound by rubbing their claws together. But in this case, the crabs were growling with their claws outstretched, telling the researchers the sound must have been coming from somewhere else. So they used a technique called laser Doppler vibrometry, which helps identify the sources of vibration, to see where the sound was coming from. And the signal was strongest from the crab's stomachs. So the researchers took a closer look by feeding the crabs some dye and scanned them with x-rays. The x-ray showed the crabs grinding their stomach teeth in time with the rasping sound they were making. In trying to figure out where this new stomach growling behavior came from, the researchers also learned more about how it was used. For example, some crabs growled faster or more often, which the researchers think might indicate how worked up they are. And bigger crabs growled more often, perhaps to tell possible threats Hey, I'm huge, so don't mess with me. But if the crabs already had functional claw-based warning sounds, why evolve a separate one? If you're a crab, growling with your stomach frees up those claws so they can be used as extra defense. And using an existing structure for a new purpose is more likely to happen than evolving something totally new. Because evolution works with what it's got. In fact, existing structures get co-opted to do new things all the time, including make sounds. For example, fish called grunts gnash their teeth together to make a characteristic grunting sound when distressed. But this is the first known example of stomach teeth used for communication. And the authors of this study think it might not be the only one, since grinding and churning stomachs exist in a number of animals. So watch out for those talkative tummies. They may be saying more than just asking for a snack. Our stomachs tell us when they need food, but what about our brains? If you want to feed your brain, Brilliant is here for you. Their bite-sized daily challenges will take care of that mental tummy rumble, but if you're hungry for even more, each one ties into a full course available on Brilliant. Brilliant is a place where you can learn about all things math, science, engineering, and computer science. If you're interested, you can go to brilliant.org scishow for the chance to save 20% on an annual premium subscription. 